websites to show your art and grow online. Do you have some difficult time trying to find a website that you can show your art and go like, heck yeah, I'm going to get the likes, the followers. Here, here people can get my art and like commissions and interact with people. I'm going to show you seven different ways for you to grow, okay? For you to share to this magnificent world all that you have to offer. Woo! Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Let's go. Number one, Facebook. Ah, 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 ah. Not normal Facebook. You don't just go and post on your profile. Facebook groups. Enter on groups. In Facebook, you can find groups about commissions, about enemy art, about furry art, about game art, industry, and all those things. Enter those specific groups by just typing down in the search bar, hey, I want a furry art group commissions. You're gonna find that, okay? Okay? You can use those groups for so many things, to learn with other people, to improve your art or help other people improve, get commissions, as I said. Now let's go to number two, Reddit. Reddit's an amazing place, okay? Get up votes. Search for the right subs, the right groups there, the same as Facebook. If you're doing what the fan, do, as an example, you're posting a fan art of Chainsaw Man. If you posted a great fan art, you're gonna get those upvotes, people are gonna know you more. That's a way to share your art to the world even more. I recommend Reddit because it's been a good, great experience. Me there, recommended Twitter. Number three, Twitter. Twitter have been growing a lot with artists those past years. Not only right now, but those past years have been a, the art communities like so many artists there. So why not to join? Be sure to type down the right the right hashtags. Be sure to tag people if you're doing a fan art for someone. Why not tag people? Maybe they will retweet for you. That's a great thing to do. Try to do stuff like, hey, fan art. Hey, this character. And go and use the right hashtags. Keep on testing. And you're gonna go far away. Number four, Instagram. Instagram is most people here already use it probably. But I have a different suggestion about Instagram. Instagram have been giving a lot more of algorithm benefits if you're posting videos, not images. So I would recommend you posting your image, your drawing as a video file. Yes, like five seconds, 10 seconds video file, just the image playing for 10 seconds or something like that. Are you really going all out and posting a heels? Like, hey guys, look at this, this is my process. Ha 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 ha. Or just doing some dance and then the church appear and you go like, ha ha, I created this. This is my webtoon. Go and check this out. But if you are someone more old school, more, uh, I'm very, uh, I want to show like my very best in a fashion way like mm, i'm such a gentleman go for number one two three four five go number five art station heck yeah art station if you want to show to the gaming companies to the animation companies move come whatever company that you're like haha uh -huh, look look at my art look at my art work. you go there and post your very best don't you dare post sketches Use the right tags, okay? Remember to put links in your description so they can find even more about you and if you're available or not. And number after five, six. Number six, DeviantArt. I use DeviantArt for so freaking long. DeviantArt, you can go by standard that it's pretty much just you doing a post, putting the right tags, or you can go and full YOLO mode inside the groups and post on each group and go like, heck yeah, heck yeah, group, group, group. Groups are excellent because normally groups have more active people that are already on your niche. On all those websites that I'm talking here, than just going crazy and uploading on, on your profile. But both ways are amazing. And a last one, number seven, that I recommend like on another level. This one I recommend so strongly. This one I recommend freaking strongly uploading short videos tiktok and youtube it gets a little bit inside of instagram heels too why videos are the thing that all the platforms right now are getting the max out right now this is they they are doing their best all of their programming all of their algorithm is working now and in those next few years focus it on video content so if you really want to get your voice as fast as possible efficient in an efficient way i recommend you go into the video format like a lot champ like a lot short videos it can be the process of your drawing it can be you giving simple tips just like this video it can be you just showing 
showing um, my art evolution. It can be you showing, hey, I do this type of thing. This is me. I'm 10 years. <laughs> I'm 10,000 years old, um, I'm from Neopets and I work for Disney and I play Mario Kart, that's my art. You can do that. I don't even know what I said. So yeah, guys, which one of these you did not use? Which one of these you're going to use? I really want to know, type down in the comments. But again, that's the thing that I see all the specialists that work with social media saying video format is the thing growing and growing and growing right now. I recommend that. Go for that. <laughs> I am going for that. This next year, I'm going to do even more video things, even more. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, comment down below and remember, no no matter which social media you choose, always being there, posting and posting and posting and posting, have that habit every single day and doing that is extremely important. Remember, keeping that habit of posting, posting, posting. I don't care if it's one time per week, one time per month. It's important to keep that habit, okay? So I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye, ciao! I have a camera and picture, by the way. Why don't you buy my products? I, I mean, they're gonna help you a lot, improve your art. If you really want to stand out even more, just saying, you know?